in regard to his or her ideas before but I say I can't give this you a psychiatric honorable. report on everybody who would disagree uh, with you. Wait a moment. But can't we deal with the issues right at the surface? She made a comment that, that she disagreed you with. You know, I'm not doing it to flatter you, but I think you're a good adversary. You, you ask intelligent questions, you're sure when you disagree, but you're focused on ideas. So am I. Well, so is not she. So is she. No. She was talking about your ideas, and she's, she's, all, all she said that no. she's parted from some of, your, some of your writings. Hey, show me a person who's universally beloved, and I'll show you a person who isn't doing anything. No, if she's parted from my writings, that's her loss, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> but why announce it to me? Okay, but this is the kind of... We have to be able to talk about this without being... Without rancor, huh? I don't See, think I'm very rancorous right now. No, 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 not yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't tell. Okay. You Your know, position is desperately close to the, to the dictator who says, if you disagree with me, you are not honorable, I will not deal with you, and... I may send the Savak after you. That's the next thing. They now, do. that is your... I wouldn't suggest you would do that. I'm no, saying but this the is the beginning of an attitude that... You mean that if you are opposed to a dictator, you say, well, uh, reality is one thing for you, but it's another thing for me. Let's all be guided by our feelings yeah. and not by the evidence well, of reality. Okay, the problem with the conversation is you and I would have to both choose a dictator for us to be equally comfortable in discussing it, huh? Uh, I mean, uh, your uh, definition of a dictator may be different than mine or vice versa. My definition is very simple and objective. Yeah, what Anyone who will enforce any idea or prejudice by physical force, anyone who initiates the use of force against another human being in that instant is acting like a dictator yeah. and if he establishes that as a political system then that's a dictatorship but i'm the arch en enemy of physical force right. i'm for uh, freedom of the mind and for <coughs> bringing people to your ideas by yeah. persuasion would not you, by force could you bring your moral perceptions and principles to a meeting in 1917 1920 22 to assassinate the czar why assassinate him? He fell, you know, by a okay, bloodless but, but revolution. But you don't know that. You, you didn't know that at the time. Well, You're armchair quarterbacking now. I, I'm asking you, in the Dietrich Bonhoeffer sense, could you plot to overthrow a person that you thought was obviously, in your mind, uh, denying civil rights to other pl people? Plot against him, certainly. I always said you should. You have the moral right to retaliate with force if someone imposes force on you. So you're for self-defense? Oh, yes, and but not murder. And the, okay, that but, is a profound difference. But it, when, when the underground uh, people in Germany started meeting and saying, let's knock off Hitler, that's morally acceptable. Oh, yeah. totally. Just checking. In view of what you've just said, I wonder if you have an opinion about the Shah of Iran. Do you think um, his actions in leaving Iran and finding um, you know, a home somewhere else, would that be an adversary of your philosophy that he did what he thought was morally right? No, because no. his philosophy was pretty dictatorial. I don't approve of him at all, I don't admire him, but if this country gives refuge to communists and ex-Nazis and every kind of uh, refugee, they should have given him refuge. I don't see why not, unless they decided by the, I mean the government, that it's not to our interest. If somebody threatens this country, and his ideas are so evil that it will kill create damage in this country, then you have the right properly to refuse him. But that doesn't justify a dinky, miserable little savage country that exists only on the proceeds of the oil they robbed from us, dictating our internal policy because that is what they're doing. They're telling us whom we can admit and whom we can't admit. By what right? Hi, I uh, had a problem with understanding Ms. Rand's philosophy at the beginning, or earlier in the show, she said that uh, she only believed in a romantic type of art and didn't believe in things that were based on realism. Or, I'm she didn't think that, you don't think art should necessarily reflect, reflect life, especially life as it is today. Exactly, and I recognize other schools of art, only I don't like them. The I, I just found I prefer that prefer is romanticism. I just found that a little bit uh, contradictory with uh, then when she said uh, in terms of religion.
that uh, she didn't believe uh, in religion as we do because it's not based on realism, as she said, and more uh, mysticism. You're mixing categories. You see, the issue of religion is metaphysical. It's uh, so in nature, in reality. Now, art is not metaphysics. It's not there without man. Art is man-made. It's a product of man. And wh when it's a product of man, you don't have to copy it. You don't have to say this is a fact because ten men did it that way. You create your own art or you like a school of which there is only one representative. Anything that is ma man-made is open to reason but not by the same kind of mental process as metaphysical or scientific factual issues. For instance, here I can only recommend that you read my book, uh, The Romantic Manifesto, because I couldn't cover it in a few minutes. The reasons why I can demonstrate to you that Romanticism is the best school of art, the best, most justifiable, but not the only one. Over here, please. First, I would like to say that uh, I am a believer, praise God, in, in God, and um, what I want to know from uh, Mrs. Rain is that uh, why is it so hard to accept gratitude? You think it is? No. I think it's a very pleasant emotion. To accept gratitude? Yes. Well, in what way do you classify m me with that question? Uh, huh? Does it mean that you're a weak person, you know, like if a person... Um, tell you thank you for something that you have done for them and you say, well, you know. Yeah, but if, if you mean that I and other people should say if they've achieved something, thank God. It's uh, God who helped me to do it. But if you make a mistake, well then it's my own evil fault. You see what it does to your self-esteem? And I think it is very, very dangerous and improper to ascribe your own achievement to somebody else. You should be proud, as I said at the beginning, of something which you actually achieved. Don't share credit for that. Don't give it away. Ms. Rand, I'd like to say that in past years, I read your books and I enjoyed the excitement and especially the settings of them, which were far removed from my life. Are you working on any, any new ones, especially on the oil monopolies, or oh. have your writings changed that much? No, I'm not writing at present time in a very sad period of my life, but I'll recover. Uh, you have recently been widowed, and uh, yes. you're dealing now with the... Uh, does this emotional impact of, of this kind of pain alter in any way your own feeling, philosophy? No. It only al altered my position in regard to the world. Which in other words, which is that I lost my top value. I'm not too interested in anything else. But I'll survive it, because I do love the world in general, and I do love ideas, yes. and I do love men. But yes. my personal is I a know. loss now. Isn't there a temptation for you, and I, I, I don't mean this to flip to suggest that you're not sincere in your writings, to hope for a reunion with the person you love, to look beyond the... I ask myself just that, seriously. And I thought if I really believed that for five minutes I'd commit suicide immediately. And I know that can be right. get to him right to away. To get to him, of course. I'll tell you more. I ask myself, how would I feel if I think he is now on trial before God or St. Peter and I'm not with him? To testify or to I, help him out. Exactly. My first uh, desire in that case would be to run to help him and tell how good he was. But... But with some of your statements, maybe your husband just as soon not even know, let God know that, you know what I mean? He was more of an atheist than I am. He if, was. If, it, if right. there could be degrees. My comment is offered with love. I hope you know that there's nothing flip about it, because I know your pain is real, and we share it with you, and hope that you'll walk out of this wood soon. I believe you, thank you. And you've really helped me. It's my first public appearance since, and was sort of a test for myself. Well, and I thank you very much. I thank See, you for I, being here. I don't mind gratitude. Expressing gratitude. Yeah. I'll be back in a so much for your visit with us. Uh, I <laughs> I'd totally love to know what they're going to talk about on the way home in the car, wouldn't you? <laughs> um, uh, Miss Rand and I thank you and hope you have a nice day. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you.